Screen life films, also known as computer screen films, desktop film or smartphone film, are films which are set almost entirely via computer screen. The conventions usually include a protagonist of which their screen we are based at. Here we are told narrative mainly through text on screen. For example, the protagonist could be looking through social media. Another component is regarding the protagonist's interactions with supporting characters. This is usually completed through video calling sites. We are usually set on that one character's screen, never switching, with only the audio coming from the computer. The camera generally just stays on the screen. Timur Bekmambetov, director of Profile 2018, stated, The setting is virtual reality in general, and one specific computer screen belonging to one character. The action never moves outside of the screen, unravelling on the display of one character's gadget. Screen life offers another way of filmmaking. In this day and age, a large amount of people in Western society spend a lot of time on technology. Work, family and friends are all surrounded through the computer for the majority of people. According to the Office for National Statistics, in 2015 it was reported 86% of households in Great Britain have access to the internet. It is aesthetically pleasing for the audience to sort of snoop around in this character's life and find out things about them. A lot is on the, a computer, so it is such a highly effective storytelling language due to the amount of things we can find out about a person. It also means we can focus on a more visual aspects, which is what the median of cinema is all about. As the majority of the story is told through visual elements, one key visual aesthetic is the mouse. In a video titled The Art of Clicks, typing cursor movement in screen life, by Screen Life, a website promoting project in this medium, it is explained that the viewer has a dis direct access to the way the protagonist think, to the origins of her ideas and initial words before she rewrites or deletes anything. For example, you could portray hesitancy in a character by moving the cursor to the send button to send a message, but then moving that cursor away to portray how they've decided not to send the message due to their hesitancy. In the excerpt Cinephilia in Transition, in the book Mind the Screen, the argument the public space of the cinema was supplemented by the private space of the home. Regarding this, the article Screen Terror and Network Fear, Unfriended Horror and the Digital Age, because of those passwords, we feel like these are safe spaces. Looking at these two aspects, screen life can play with loads of different genres, like romantic comedy, with the privacy of the character's love life, all the way to horror, with someone, for example, getting access to someone's private documents. This aspect of home life, with the computer being something in your house, to the privacy on the computer, to also the aspect of films being viewed in the home, allows narratives to play with the audience's protection of their privacy. For a first example of a film that uses this medium is Searching, 2018, directed by Anish Shiganti. Following a father who is in search for his daughter, this American thriller follows David King from his computer, which actually switches perspectives right at the end of the film as when the daughter is thankfully found, we get this pers perspective from her computer in the last part of the film. Already these films are finding ways to develop on the conventions. Another example is the film mentioned earlier, Profile, that follows a British journalist who goes undercover to contact Islamic State recruiters. The, the way the film uses mouse movement is effective with creating a tense feeling for the audience. In an interview um, with Berlinale, the International Film Festival, um, Timur explains the process of his film language. Because we spent our life, like personally, I spent half of my life in front of the screen. Uh, it could be mobile phone screen, or it could be computer screen, and uh, and it's where my where the, the 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 most important events of my life happening today. I'm falling in love. I'm finding a new job. I'm losing my friend, and it's all these events. Uh, happening on today on, on, on computer screen. 
A final example I wanted to show is the more comedic aspect, which is seen in Modern Family episode. In the 16th episode of the sixth season, Connection Lost, written by Steve Leventan and Megan Gans, we are viewing the film in the perspective of the character Claire, as she is trying to find out if her daughter Haley got married without her knowing. It's only 20 minutes long, so if you don't have the time to watch a full-length film but want to see an example of this medium, this is a good example to get the grips of the genre. On the cameraman's hand, and it always looked like uh, they were doing it themselves. It, it looked beautiful. Hey, what's up? I need to talk to Mitchell. It's my iPad, Tom. What did I tell you about being selfish? Aunt Claire needs to speak to other daddy just as soon as she gets me my popcorn. There are loads more examples like Unfriended Dark Web, the sequel to the horror film, which is such an engaging horror film. One part of the film uses some diegetic sound of the protagonist frustrated at the screen. It's the only time we hear dialogue not coming from the screen, but I thought it was an interesting aspect. Overall, we will definitely be seeing more of this genre in the future. It was recorded as of June 10th, 2020. Universal Pictures have secured a deal with Tamir Beck Mombatov, um, Bazilis Studios to produce and distribute five feature shot in the screen live format, where the action is depicted on the screen of a computer, smartphone, or similar device. So we will definitely be seeing this medium played out in an array of loads of different genres.